I put up a video there the other day, and in the video I was trying to say the word carcinogenic, right? And I just couldn't get it out. It was carcinogenic or one of those carcinogenesis or something like that. And I got a comment in one of the, the videos and the guy says, and the girl says, um, are you back on the drink? Uh, 401 was the reference to where I'd said it in the video. Um, I just want to show you something. Okay, here's in my cupboard outside in, uh, this is the outside spot of our house, right? In that cupboard you'll see, there's a, a bottle of white wine. Can you see that? Um, there's also a bottle of this um, rosé, sparkling rosé, so it's like a, a cava. There's also um, two bottles of this stuff, which is cider. There is also a can of Amstel. There's also wine inside as well, right? And, and we have these uh, bottles up here that I thought were water bottles, you know? We've had these water bottles for ages and stuff, you know? So I thought these were water bottles. These happen to be um, some kind of semi-seco wine bottles. But I don't care. Alcohol percentage, 12%. I always thought they were water bottles. Um, I don't drink alcohol anymore, right? These things would have gone, they wouldn't be in my fridge, in my cupboard. If uh, if I was drinking, they would be stuck in my fridge or the freezer overnight. And that's it, they wouldn't be there anymore. Why? Because I'd have drank it, that's why. It wouldn't have been there long, it just would have been in my stomach, in my gut, and things wouldn't have been good, you know? So that's why. Have I ever been tempted? No, and I'll tell you why. Have you ever looked at the movie, The Matrix, right? Where Neo is given the choice between the blue pill and the red pill. He chooses one pill and he goes back to his old lifestyle. He forgets about everything that's happened. Uh, he chooses the red pill and he'll never forget anything that happens. Everything is uncovered to him. The realistic world is uncovered to him. That's the way I feel about alcohol, right? That I've taken something that um, my mind has been opened in a certain way to alcohol, to the effects of alcohol, to the damage that alcohol does to you, to the damage that it does to your life, to your health, to your relationships, to your bank balance, to everything in your life. You know, it shortens your life. It shortens the quality of your life. It shortens everything in your life. And this is what, why I would never go back to it. Why would I do that? It would be the most stupid thing on the planet. So really, I have to look at what's happened in my life since I stopped drinking alcohol, right? Look at the things that have improved, look at the things that have got worse. And it's so heavily balanced on the side of the things that have got better. 100 times more balanced on the things that have got better. That is just, it would be impossible for me to go back. So, no, I haven't thought about going back. I haven't drank alcohol since I've stopped, not knowingly, um, maybe in small, tiny amounts. But the point is that I stopped drinking alcohol to get away from the behavior, right? Not to get away from the tiny amounts of alcohol that are present in your body anyway, um, that are going to go into your body because of the foods that you're eating, you know, your digestive process and stuff like that. But the behavior of me knocking back one alcoholic drink after another, overloading my liver, overloading the rest of my system, and generally making my life a misery, right? And through that, you know, in extension, you're making other people's lives a misery as well. You're just sailing through and, in, you know, life is the most important thing you've got. Without life, you've got nothing, right? There is nothing. So, you know, think about the alcohol that you're putting inside your body. I'm here to help as many people as I can to take that red pill, you know, to step across that other side, to open their eyes and their minds, to 
the problems that are happening with, with alcohol, you know. Um, like I say, there's, I've got a book there. There's 10 steps to stop drinking alcohol for good. Um, it gives you 10 um, solid, reasonable things to follow, principles to follow. You know, if you download the book, if you read it and you apply the principles, I'm positive that you're going to get um, a lot better results in your life. There's so many different benefits that you'll get. Better health, better life, better relationships, more money in the bank. Click on the link down below this video. Um, as I said, I want to give you this book for free. So once you click on the link, go to the website alcoholmastery.com. Click on the button there, enter your best email address, and I'll send you out a copy straight away. Like I said, uh, I'm confident that you'll enjoy this book and find it of great use. So do it now while you're thinking about it. Uh, I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Take care of yourself. Onwards and upwards. Talk to you soon. Bye now.